Hey guys, this is Nuruluda and I am a verified educator at Unacademy. I am taking free classes over there. Also, I am teaching live on Unacademy Plus. So if you guys are aware of Unacademy Plus, there are some live classes going on over there. Especially, uh, I am taking classes for CSIR Net December 2019 as well as for GATE 2020. So I will be covering all these topics which are given right now on your screen. My course name is Comprehensive Course on Chemical Sciences. So if you guys are interested into that, you can subscribe for an Academy Plus. Also, after this course completion, which is going to be completed in September, I am going to launch one more course for uh, numerical solving, especially for the physical chemistry part. Right. So if you guys are interested in that, if you guys want to prepare along with me for the CSIR Net December 2019, you can subscribe yourself for an Academy Plus. And while subscribing, if you put my referral code that is an N underscore Huda, you will get 10% discount on the subscription fee. So this is all about the Unacademy Plus. Now let's continue with our video. Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about GATE 2020, right? GATE 2020. So the official notification of GATE 2020 is already being uh, like it has been posted. The poster has been came for that and all the important dates are already being there on IT Delhi website okay so I'll be giving you a link of that in the description and also I'll attach a screenshot of that on the screen over here and uh, I have already posted that on my community tab so if you are over there you, you might have already seen that right so I'll be just telling you a few points regarding that and then we'll discuss that what are the things you need to strategize how you have to strategize your study how you have to prepare for gate so and what are the benefits of gate okay so all these things i am going to elaborately explain you in this particular video first of all just let's talk about gate 2020 online registration of the exam will start from your uh, 3rd of september that is 3rd of september 2019 and it will end on 24th of september right so this is the date of your exam okay so this is uh, this is the date in which your online uh, registration will be open now there will be some extended time up to 1st of October for which you have to pay some extra money and then you can register up to that time. So you all know that if you are late for that or if you missed the registration in that particular interval of time, you have to pay some extra money and you can register up to 1st of October. But it is advisable. Obviously, uh, it is like it is uh, monetarily also good and it's also good uh, in like sh that you should uh, uh, enroll yourself before the last date, right? So you have to you can enroll yourself before your uh, 24th of September, right? So this is first of the thing. Secondly is that that the exam dates, especially for your chemistry exam, the specific date has not been announced, but I think it will be on 8th or 9th of Feb, okay? So I'm taking 8th of Feb as the date of that. So 8th of Feb is going to be the date on which you will be having exam of chemistry over there. And then the result will be announced on the 16th of March. So this is, this is the time, these are the dates, tentative dates on which uh, everything will be. Uh, done now this time gate is being organized by iit delhi you might be knowing about it right that every time uh, every year gate exam is being organized by different iit this time iit delhi is taking the responsibility of that and there are some consequences regarding this okay i'll be discussing about that in this particular video don't worry about it so yeah uh, first of all why gate okay what is the importance of gate exam see gate people give for two reasons first is to take admission in phd in iits okay it, iits or nits or ISAS, they usually take students on the basis of gate score only second reason is to get job okay so see if you are if you are willing to take job on the basis of gate you must be very clear about it that your rank should be under 100 or 150 okay all india rank should be under 100 or 150 then only you can uh, get a decent uh, job based upon your a gate score if you want to take admission in phd so like see uh, eventually you can get admission if you just qualify uh, gate also if you just qualify this exam then also you are eligible for interviews in different iits okay so most of the iits they call for just qualified students also and you might get admission in that but if you want good iit uh, in the top iits or your desired iit then uh, your rank should be good okay so your rank should be under 600 or 500 all india rank so these, this is this is what your goal should be that if you are planning for job your goal should be to get a rank below 100 and if you are planning for phd admission then your goal should be to get a, a good rank around 500 or 600 all india rank. okay so this is the thing you all know how the gate exam is right it's a 100 marks exam 
and um, you are having two kinds of questions mcqs and nats nats means uh, numerical answer types questions so uh, you have to answer that numerical answer type questions are uh, like they don't contain any negative marking but mcqs contain some negative marking that is one third of that particular question so there are two kind of questions one marks and two marker question so in the one marker question you will be having 0.33 as the negative marks and for two marker question you will be having 0.66 as the negative mark for nats that means numerical answer types where you have to write down the answer you have to give the numerical answer for that uh, you don't have any negative marking for that. so this is uh, what the gate like this is just a brief uh, idea about the gate exam. so what is the eligibility to take admission uh, to, to give you this gate exam first of all the candidate should be in the final year of his masters okay especially i'm just talking about the um, only about the chemistry i'm not talking about the engineering and the other subjects for which gate conducts i'm just talking about the chemistry that is gate uh, chemistry for c1 right so for this the candidate should be in the final year of, of his masters yeah the, if if the student is already in his final year and he's, he has not qualified uh, he has not completed his uh, masters in that case we have to uh, like submit a form for, which has been which has to be attested or to be signed from your hod or from your department uh, that will signify that yes you are currently working in that particular university you are a student of that particular university and you have to upload that and if you have qualified if you have completed your msc you can apply for that uh, and yes if you have already qualified and uh, then you have to uh, like you have to upload your degree certificate right so if you didn't got your degree your convocation is yet to be done so you can upload your provisional certificate or the mark sheet so any of these will work and you can upload them to for the exam okay for the for the enrollment so this is this is the eligibility criteria this is the thing that how you can apply for that next thing is that how you have to strategize your study right how you can strategize your study how you can prepare well for the gate exam see gate is going to be held in the feb right in the february and like many of you who are giving gate they might be also uh, be giving this csr december 2019 right so you are having an exam in december 2019 and an exam in february right so don't take february as your as your as a target month okay take december as the target month try to cover mostly of the topics uh, especially those which are common in your csr net as well as in gate now one thing which i want to make it very clear that physical chemistry is going to be the deciding factor for especially for the gate exam you have to be good with physical chemistry you cannot escape any of the topic like for csr net you can you can leave one of that you can just take two of them either organic inorganic or physical inorganic or uh, organic physical so that will work you can qualify uh, csr net with that but gate is not done like that okay uh, you have to be good in all the three if not good you have to be at least two in two of them you have to be good in the third one you can be you have to read it at least okay you cannot just leave questions from there because you don't have choices in this exam so uh, especially for those students who are taking physical and inorganic for their csr net try to take out maximum of your organic questions uh, remember organic is not that much difficult for gate exam compared to csr net you can approach organic questions especially your general organic questions uh, pericyclic questions spectroscopy questions and also reaction mechanism basic reagents you should know that how they work and what is the product and the stereochemistry they don't play that much uh, with the stereochemistry as the uh, csr net people do right so this is one of the thing which you should do so you have to be good in all the three at least not good so you have to be at, at least you, have, you should know the basic things about the third one okay so that's what basically i wanted to say third and most important thing is to prepare previous year, like to solve previous years questions right it's very important uh, it's important for csr net it's important for gate also you have to solve previous years questions especially those uh, where the trick has been there or the questions which are asked from the exceptional cases you should know about them okay so it's very very important to solve previous years questions now it's it's not like you can you have to buy some online test series i'm strictly against uh, test series i don't know uh, like i have seen i have all when i was preparing i have also taken some of the test series and what i have found that they just jumble up previous years question and they made a new like they try to make a new test series i'm not sure about the recent or the or the or the current scenario uh, but most of the coaching institute do like that only so for me i think uh, previous years questions are well and enough okay if you just solve previous 10 year questions or previous maximum years questions of csr net 
not 10 years 10 question papers because per year you get two question paper and also previous like uh, at least five to seven years of your gate then you are well and enough for the well and enough prepared for the exam okay next thing is that you have to analyze your result okay whatever you have you are doing in the test series or whatever you guys are doing in the practice session try to analyze that that where you are making mistake the point or the topic for which you are making mistake try to cover that up try to repeat that try to strategize that well okay ha huh. one thing which i wanted to tell you it's very important it's very effective try to do group studies okay if you are in masters try to make group of your friends and uh, try to solve questions in a group okay just try to discuss those questions in the group it will help you and it will enhance the way of understanding okay it will give you like in a short interval of time you will get to know a lot of things because knowledge while you share your knowledge you will gain more of it okay now you can in the modern world you can use that with the help of facebook groups also you can share your questions there you can discuss uh, discuss that question so i have also a facebook group discussion for my channel so there is a link in the description you can uh, click on that link and you can join that particular group you can share your questions you can discuss out over there okay so you all are welcome over there one more thing which is important is to study from the standard books i have already told in the previous videos where i was telling you about how to strategize for december exam uh, for gate also you have to read standard books it's very important book reading is very important i always emphasize on that and now also i'm just saying that book reading is very important nothing can beat uh, our knowledge which has been gained from your books okay no no coaching notes no videos nothing okay so just read books try to read books try to build up your concepts and uh, try to practice as much as questions as possible uh, last but not the least that don't like strategize your study up to february okay keep some time for a revision also just at the end of the month like if you if you are expecting exam to be at the 8th of feb so at least give 20 days for revision okay at least up to 15th of jan after that you have to uh, you have to revise all the concept okay so try to strategize your study it is up to you how you strategize that it depends upon you what are your uh, like what are your positive points what are your negative points try to analyze that try to strategize your work and it will it will help okay you don't have to join any coaching institute or anything uh, so this is how you can strategize and prepare for a, the upcoming gate exam okay and try to solve as much as numericals as possible try to solve physical chemistry questions especially from the quantum chemistry solid state chemistry thermodynamics uh, electrochemistry all these topics kinetics these are very important topics which are very scoring too so try to like study try to prepare these topics right so these were the things which i wanted to share for the gate 2020 exam i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you guys want to ask anything you can ask me in the comment section i'll try to answer you guys over there so that's all for this particular video guys thank you so much for watching and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel if you like this video give it a like and uh, that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching bye bye